Hi, Todd here from Urban Sound Studio, and today we're taking a look at Logic Step Sequencer. If you're a Logic user and you haven't tried Step Sequencer, you're missing out. Of course, you could program drums, but you could also program melodies, and there's a bunch of patterns included in Logic too. On top of all of this, there's a lot of really creative uses that you could use to help open up your arrangements. So let's get started by taking a look at how to get started with the basics. I'll show you some creative ideas, and then I'll let you take it from there. To begin, let's create a software instrument track. If it isn't already available, open the library by clicking the top left or hit the letter Y. Select any electronic drum kit to load a drum machine designer and a suite of effects. We will see later how we could create our own kit. Right click or control click the lane in the tracks view window and select create pattern region. Click the preview speaker button to start running your step sequencer. Add steps by clicking on any of the steps for an instrument. Click and drag to populate a bunch of notes at once. Click a step a second time to remove a step. On the top right, we can set the length of the pattern Don't overpopulate your steps with too many sounds. Leave some room for other elements of the kit to come through. Click the disclosure triangle for any sound to get additional sequencing options. We can adjust velocity so the volumes are not all the same. Note repeat is great to add some glitchy repeated notes on a step. We aren't going to change the octaves, so let's have this lane set to chance, which is the probability that the step will perform. This is an easy way to make a loop have variations as it repeats. Let's set probability for the crash so we don't hear it every time it comes around. We can still add or remove steps while the lanes are open. Just use the top lane to turn steps on or off for a sound. We can also set the direction that each lane performs. Let's have this one first go forward, then backward. We could set a loop start and end so it repeats independently from all the other sounds in your sequencer. The step rate determines how quickly that row plays the sequence for that particular sound. A tip is to adjust the start and end rate so the pattern is an odd number of steps for a particular sound. Listen to how it affects the placement of the kick drum to create some cool patterns. Do it to a few sounds and you get some great polyrhythmic loops. At the top, we could set our main view to show velocities for all sound rather than step on and off. This is great to fine tune sounds while the sequencer runs. You can also have it alter any other lane for all sounds. 
let's adjust the chance for some sounds. Here, I have the rim on every 16th note, but the chance only has it perform every once in a while. By changing the octave for the rim hit, I get some super cool sounds. Notice my drum kit designer is actually 24 different tracks that collapse into one track stack. This is important, since if I create a second track, it'll actually be track 25 and not track number 2. Let's add a keyboard sound and create a pattern region. This time, click the pattern browser and we will select one of Logic's patterns to get us started. Since it is a keyboard, we will select the melodic category. This one is good to get us started. Now click the inspector so we can adjust the pattern key. I'm going to copy the pattern, but make this specific region playback at a different step rate for a unique effect. That's a cool transition into a new section, so let's copy our drums and keyboard regions to repeat after that measure. But this time I want the pattern to play back in a minor key. Let's add a bass part. This time we will use the browser to find a good bass pattern. This pattern is okay, but let's make sure to set it to the same key and also make sure one region is minor and the other is major to match the keyboard. Let's use a pattern to have the second drum region be totally different than the first drum region. Hit X to open the mixer and we'll add a send to add some reverb to each of these instruments. Now let's see how we could use our own samples to create a drum machine designer instrument. I have some samples from a sample pack. Let's drag the four samples I want to the tracks region and we get an option to have them added to a drum machine designer. All the work is done for us. Like before, let's right click to create a pattern region. 
Now add your steps, just like we did before. The open hi-hat sustains for too long. Now there's a few ways to handle this, but let's open our drum machine designer and shorten the playback of just that sample. Just make sure to add a fade out on the sample. And now you have the ability to sequence your own samples with the creative tools we used earlier. Thanks for watching. Do you have any questions or do you have some additional tips that you can share on Logic Step Sequencer? If so, please leave them in the chat below. And as always, please help support the channel by liking the video and hitting subscribe.